it began as one of the most ridiculous moves in comic book history. From the very start, they tried to do this with um, John Ken. They tried to make him into Superman. I've said, I said, I've said many times from the very beginning. I don't like John Kent as a character. I think he has no personality. He has no nothing other than just being gay Superman. And when they came out with this iconic image of Super of um, John Kent kissing his pink haired weirdo boyfriend, and made it seem like this was supposed to be so inclusive and so progressive and so diversive, and they were so on board with all parts and the alphabet community and look at this and you had Tom Taylor going around spreading the word and telling everybody he's so iconic and look what he's done and how he has totally ruined the image of Superman but no he figured he was doing something great I said it from the beginning then I said this is going to fail miserably the only reason that issue made the only reason that, that issue made it into the top 10 of course it was like number five or number four something like that the people went out and bought the book because they wanted to own the comic that DC used to shoot themselves in the foot with. And once that was over, it dropped straight down the, the, the charts and never recovered. It kept going downwards because you were not telling a Superman story. You weren't telling a John Kent becoming a hero story. You weren't telling a, a superhero story. You know what you were telling was a gay Superman story. And 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 everybody else was front and center. You had basically Jay Nakamura, Lewis Lynn, and John Kent was just in the background somewhere hanging around. I knew it was going to fail. I said so many times. And now we have confirmation. Superman Son of Kal-El ending with number 18. Couldn't even make it to 20. New six issue miniseries debuts in 2023. This Superman Son of Khaled has been an, has been an abysmal failure from the beginning. The former um, artist for DC, Gabe El Tayeb, who moved on to ISOM, left after they decided to change. Well, what was the final nail in the coffin for him, really, when they decided to change Superman's um, iconic. Um, um, catchphrase from um, Troop Justice and the American Way to Troop Justice and a Better Tomorrow because they wanted to change it to suit what they wanted it to be. He got out and he was done and the fans have rejected John Kent and his woke Superman nonsense from the beginning. No matter how much DC and Tom Taylor would like you to believe it was something else because you had Tom Taylor actually going out there and bragging and telling people that you know that you know he's writing issue after issue and john kent doesn't even have to fight anybody doesn't even have to punch anybody doesn't even have to save anybody all he just has to be is gay and that's it try to pass it off as bye but we know what it is we know what it is so I, i'm not surprised by this ending right now because i said so in my last video that, that, that i did for john kent when he came out again because that's all this entire run for him has been he coming out and he closed it to everybody he could everybody could think to. Um, to his mother, to his friends, to his this, to his that. Then now the whole world. He's coming out and he closed it. That's all he's been doing. That's it. I said in the last video I did, what other story is there left to tell? Because Tom Taylor wasted over a year and a half telling one story about John Kent. And the only story he's been telling is gay Superman. That's it. Nothing else. Let's get into this article here and see what they have to say. DC Superman Son of Kal-El series is coming to an end following its 18th issue. However, John Kent will get to see the publisher's new Superman star in a brand new miniseries in 2023. So, they're ending the comic. And everybody's happy about that. They're ending it. Because, you know, they figured it was going to be so progressive and the people who you were pandering to weren't even buying it, but they're ending it. I know you're giving a six-issue miniseries because you want to tell Tom Taylor, okay, listen now, we want to totally embarrass you. Maybe we'll give you a little six-issue thing to try and wrap up something. And, you know, I personally believe Tom Taylor is more than capable of embarrassing himself again given another six-issue miniseries. I, I think so. Let's continue. During the DC Superman panel at New York Comic Con, the publisher revealed Superman Son of Kal-El number 18 will be the final issue of the series. 18 issues too long in my opinion. Upon its completion in December, DC will launch a new six issue miniseries, Adventures of Superman John Kent. 
written by Tom Taylor and featuring art by Clayton Henry. John will finally get his chance to take on the man who is responsible for kidnapping and torturing him, Ultraman, the Superman of Earth 2. Val Zod will also play a major part in the six-issue miniseries arriving in comic shops in early 2023. Well, you know, after Bendy, after um, Brian Michael Bendis decided he was going to take John Kent from Super Sons and age him up, and this and a, a, a lot of people hated the move and what it. I wasn't shocked by it because I said before I said again, I could tell from Super Sons that, that that is exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted to bring in John Kent as their own Superman so they could paint him in any color that they wanted. So he basically had John Kent on another world being tortured by Ultraman for years. And then when he comes back, you now he's aged up. I think he was like about 11 or 10 or 11 when he left and he come back now he's like um, i think he's 16 17 or something like that when he returns and you didn't think at some point that would have been a good idea to have him confront ultraman and and deal with that because he probably have all kind of ptsd and all kind of, from, from all kind of thing no no to hell with that let's spend a year and a half telling his gay coming out story to everybody who listen again and again and again and again and again and now, with your little mini series, six, 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 three mini series thing, you said you want to tell people, now he's going to confront Ultraman. Nobody gives a damn at this point. Literally, nobody gives a damn at this point. This comic has been dead from the beginning. I've said it before, I said it again. The best thing DC could do is just, is just to completely nuke the entire universe and be done with the connection. That's, that's destroyed everything. That's it. Here's what Tom Taylor had to say. I couldn't be more excited for John Kent to headline the iconic adventures of Superman. It's a real testament to the fantastic response of fans to John as Superman. Who? Who are these so-called fans you're talking about that, 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 that have had a good response to the John Kent as Superman? Because I have covered it all and, and the, 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 the entire issues keep dropping down. People don't care. They, they came up with like issue, I think it was issue 13 or 14 or something. So nobody even bothered to talk about it. I don't even read it. I, I don't even read the book anymore. I don't even, I don't even read DC stuff anymore because I can tell you how bad it is. I'm completely done with DC and Marvel, to be honest with you. So I do reviews based on what I, on, on the information that I get and what I can see. And most comic book reviews review everything. They didn't even bother to touch it first. It was that bad. The series is going to be one of the most action-packed books I've ever written. And John is going to be tested more than ever before. So you spent a year and a half telling his gay coming out story. And now in six issues, you expect everybody to believe it's going, it's going to be really action-packed. You couldn't lie worse. Me. While we can tell you the Superman of Earth 2, Val Zod, and John's nemesis, Ultraman, will be key characters in the early part of Avengers of Superman. What we're going to reveal at the end of issue 2 will have everyone talking and, and issue 3 launches us in a direction that no one will see coming. Is he going to be completely vaporized? Probably not. But considering the fact that you have this picture here where he's going electric blue, one of the um, Superman... Um, transformations that people didn't like. People didn't like the whole electric blue Superman. And the fact that you have him going electric blue here is really supposed to tell us what he's, he's going to he's going to acquire this power. I mean, you have done nothing to make John Kent interesting. You've done nothing with his powers, done nothing with him on the whole to make anybody interested in what is going to happen with him. But somehow, if people to believe that what you're going to do is going to somehow make anything better. No, sir. No. Superman Son of Kal-El launched in 2021. The series has largely followed John take over his father's role as Superman on Earth while his father is away on War World. Yeah, so send Superman off to do some gladiatorial War World style thing like Planet Hulk and leave John Kent to completely destroy his reputation. That makes sense. While he's battled a number of villains, no he hasn't. No he hasn't. Ranging from Lex Luthor to Henry Bendis, that's never actually happened. 
You see, this is the kind of bold face lies talk about never happen. He spent an entire year and a half leading up to some, some loser fight against he and Bendix. And Henry Bendix is just basically Lex Luthor. That's it. He just basically Lex Luthor. And as a, 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 this whole battle a number of villains, he has to battle a number of villains. He must be like swooping and, and pick up two people once or twice. That was it. There's never been any big battles involving John Kennedy. There's been nothing ab about him at all. It's just been nonsense. The series has also seen John become close with his new boyfriend, Jay Nakamura. No, that, that is all the series focused on. Nothing else. A character who was introduced in Superman, Son of Kal-El, number two. And every people didn't like the book from, from, from the first issue. They disliked it by the second issue. They hated it going forward, and now you're canceling it before it even reaches to number 20. Because why? It's garbage. It is garbage. I said so in my last video that I did. You understand me? My last video that I did about John Kent, I talked about what's going to happen. I talked about the fact that no, 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 that he and Jay have come out to the world again. There's no story left to tell. There is nothing. That's that's all Tom Taylor has been doing. This leading up to this gay Superman coming out party once again. That's it. Let's finish off here. Superman Son of Kal-El number 18 comes from Tom Taylor. Destroyed Superman. Nah, you have to leave whatever. Releasing December 13th and tying into the ongoing Kal-El Returns crossover storyline. Because yeah, Clark Kent is coming back. So the only thing left for him to do, the only thing left for John to do now is to come out to his father. And we all know how that's going to go. Happiness and, and giggles all around. Because of a story shared with Action Comics, the, the synopsis reads, The Rise of Red Sun with the landmark Action Comics number 1050 just around the corner. Prepare for the ultimate battle between Superman and Lex Luthor as Clark and John continue their intensive training. But will it be enough to overcome the mysterious new villain calling themselves Red Sin? Oh, it's Rise of Red Sin. Sorry, I said Red Sun, Rise of Red Sin. I mean, come on now, man. Does anybody care at this point? No. Action Comics cannot even... Action Comics, which is a Superman strong, cannot even break into the top 100. Why do you think anybody gives a damn at this point? You destroyed it. You have destroyed it. The only saving grace here is that finally, after all this time, this god-awful Superman Son of Kal-El is ending. It was terrible to begin with. Nobody liked it. You knew exactly what you were doing. You were trying your best to tell a gay Superman story that nobody was interested in. Tom Taylor came out on many occasions and, 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 and bragged about he didn't even have to have John Kent fight anybody. Just him going around being gay was, was good enough. No. No. People rejected this thoroughly, and now, after 18 issues, it's finally gone. And as, and as far as I can say, it was 18 issues too long. They should have never been made. Never. John Ken is a horrible, horrible character. And I, and I stand by my words when I say that. And I tell anybody, if you have a different opinion when you tell something about John Kent, be this or the other, let me know. Because as far as I am concerned, he's done nothing whatsoever. Anything at all. 18 issues was too damn long. And this is really, this should luckily be the end of it. It should never come back. That is it. Never come back. Let me know your thoughts on this historic and momentous and joyous announcement. If you have a different opinion, please let me know. I'll be happy to hear it. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Be notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.